Canelo uh, Saunders seems to, it looks like that might be a May. Would you break down that fight? Good fight. Been? I got Canelo, man. Canelo, Canelo. Man. I like Canelo, man. I, I, at this moment, I got Canelo my pound for pound, bro. He number one. Yeah, bro. Come on. Over, over uh, Crawford? Listen, man, I love my man Crawford. Crawford is my guy, but Crawford ain't been, been able to fight the, the, the guys in his weight class. Like, Canelo, we went up three weight classes, man. I told you guys, 15 months, man. How you gonna get three straps, different weight classes, 15 months? Bruh, yo, three titles? Come on, man. And, you know, everybody's saying, oh, well, you, you know, Kovalev's watered down, watered down. Okay. He still had to go up and take the risk. You know how much weight that is? Coming from 160 all the way up to 75, bro, that's 15 pounds. Nobody's doing that. Canelo, he moved, I mean, uh, Lomachenko, he moved up with, from 26, 26 to 30, 35. How many pounds is that? What is that, 9 pounds? It's 15 pounds. That's 9 pounds. You know what I'm saying? My guy, T-Bug Crawford, fantastic. He was number one when I had him when he won the Undisputed. He was number one. He was number one for a little while. And then Lomachenko creeped up, boom. You know what I'm saying? Because Lomachenko captured three titles. And then now, now I feel, in my eyes, it's like, what have you done for me lately? Canelo moves up, he does this, he's number one. And, and all like I said, all this is subjective, but at the same time, and they all shift, and they're so damn good that they can all shift. You know what I mean? One month it could be this guy, depending on who he fights and how he looks, the next month could be this guy. You know what I'm saying? But the best fighter in the world that I believe, the best fighter in the world, is Terrence Bud Crawford. That I believe, skill wise. You know what I'm saying? So, should I make him number one because I feel that he's the best fighter in the world? Is that how we do the pound for pound list? Or are we doing it on what are we doing? How many champions? How many belts are we winning? I mean, you know what I mean? Because the pound for pound list is, is subjective. So, so you know what I'm saying? Whatever you pick. Exactly. So, if I sit back and I say, well, I like this guy's style, he's the number one guy, but then I don't give credit to a guy that's doing things, that's taking risks, because I think taking risk is part of being number one too. Taking risk. Right? Is that why we praising Lomachenko for going up two weight classes? I mean, come on. You feel me? Now my man T-Bug Crawford, he go up and he face a 154 pound and get one of them straps. Woo! Bam, number one. That's taking risks. You know what I'm saying? You want a strap at 54. That's two weight divisions, bro. That's from 135 all the way up to 154. Wow, that's a lot of weight. You think that you what, what Crawford might do because politics and boxing, or should he wait for the 140 to move up like the Josh Taylor, Ramirez, and Regis to give him, since it's on kind of the, I mean the top rank side, and probably become easier to make in a sense. What would you probably think would be his best? I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what my bro Crawford doing, man. I really don't. I haven't talked to him in a while. Uh, I'm not sure what he's gonna be doing, uh, but I know whatever he's doing is gonna be the right move for him. And uh, you know, I would love to see other fights, Spence and all them. But you know, Spence, you know, you know what's up with him. We all know what's up with him. But uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what he's gonna do. I'm just curious, just like you guys are. Alright, guys. Last uh, question. Can you beat first your uh, millions of fans in the Philippines? Can you beat all your fans in the Philippines? Hi, Philippines. <laughs> How you doing? Love you guys. <laughs> And uh, last question, uh, Manny Pacquiao uh, and McGregor as the same manager right now. Do you think uh, they're gonna be they're gonna fight this coming June, July, or it's just a gimmick? What is your opinion? Thanks, boss. It could happen. It could McGregor, happen. yeah. I mean, man, Manny Pacquiao, McGregor, bro. It could happen. Yeah. I mean, they, they, Manny Pacquiao still has a good name, great name in boxing, Warrior, and then you got Conor McGregor at a huge, huge name in MMA, and and. and uh, uh, world, uh, world uh, known. So uh, yeah, if fight can happen. In case they don't fight, who do you want Manny Pacquiao to fight this July? Uh, Pacquiao. If he's gonna fight somebody, fight Sean Porter. Sean Porter. Mm. Because that's a that's a collision. Okay. That that that's a fight. You know you know Sean Porter ain't running, so he ain't gotta go look for him. He gonna be right there in his grill, and it's gonna be a war. Uh, yeah, I would love to see him fight Sean Porter. Thank you very much.